What's up guys? It's Ryan Tium here, and today we are back in The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. That's right you guys, and no snap is gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy Wednesday. So we are indeed back here, uh, once again in The Witcher 3, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Belgard Winery. Because we want to go ahead and finish this off, because there's been a pretty highly requested quest uh, mentioned quite a few times down there in the comment section. So we're going to go ahead and ride on over there to find it. Is this Belgard we're coming up to? This gigantic tower up here? Or is it going to... Oh no, it's that place right there. Okay, I was like, dang, it's no wonder so many people were gunning after it. But hopefully everyone's had a wonderful Wednesday so far. Let's see how gorgeous this place is. My goodness, it looks a bit run down, could use a bit of paint. But let's see what we have over here. There's Liam and there's Matilda. Let's see what they have for me. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle whim, for the vineyard's fallen upon hard times since its previous owner's demise. I've been told of workers dying on their rounds, monsters prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these... Uh, inconveniences that is the minister's wish more work for me i guess if you're willing we'll gladly accept your help hmm let's talk about more pay i can help sure but i won't work for free oh my okay <laughs> this is a lovely payday isn't it let's see will you take 950 fine we have a deal. wonderful i'm just extorting these people i love it already agreed i guess oh, that's a weight off my chest i must say your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll get to work. Okay, so wait, it's just killing more and more monsters? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Once I've killed everything. Okay, I had to bring you in to fight this damn thing. What the heck? It's a slizzard is what it's called. This thing, I think, is closer to a dragon than we've ever gotten to. <laughs> and it must be the great white beast that I've seen in a bunch of contracts. I mean, this thing can breathe fire. This is a fucking dragon! It's cooler than the, uh, the wyverns we've fought. Uh, let's see, can I knock it out of the air with art? I bet you I can. Well, it'll come to me, I suppose. And I thought this was not going to be very interesting, going around to each place and killing monsters. I was sorely mistaken. Little did I know that I was going to be fighting a dragon. Ugh crazy looking thing. What the hell? Nasty as shit, too. Can't believe that thing breathes fire. That's awesome as hell. But uh, I can tell you one thing. That was definitely the white beast that we were supposed to kill in a contract. So we might be able to collect on that, but uh, <laughs> that's really good. Need to go over here and get the damn trophy. Okay, back at Belgard. Thank you again for your aid. No, I don't care about anything that you have right now, but uh, thank you. All right, let's go and see what these two can give me now, besides money. Because I would like something different, because I just rode all over freaking Dusant doing shit for both of you. Tend My god. Problems. Vineyard should be in as good a shape as ever. Splendid. And thus, officially, by the power vested in me, I grant you title to the Belgard Vineyard, and trust that you shall make good use of its grounds and resources. Excellent. Ah, I can already smell the grapes ripening into sun. We shan't forget what you did for us. Here, your pay. But that's not all. You must oh, come for back fuck's sake. Shortly. We've a surprise in store for you. I'll do that. Farewell. Okay. I wonder what their surprise is. More shit to kill? Probably. But good to know. That's finished. <laughs> Wait three days, then go see Liam and Matilda. Well, I suppose we'll wait three days. I'm gonna sit here right in front of you. Okay, what do you guys have for me now, Liam and Matilda? Hopefully they're still here. Yes, it looks like they are. Alright, let's see what he's got. Oh, Witcher, greetings. Kind of you to come. Matilda and I, we've a surprise for you. Okay, what's the surprise? What's the surprise? Some new monster I need to kill? No, something far more pleasant. We've produced a wine. According to the best sommeliers, it might just dethrone SS. We owe this success to you. So, 
If you'd agree, we'd like to name it after you. Whoa. What shall we call it? Geralt of Rivia, Butcher of Blaviken, the White Wolf. White Wolf sounds cool for a wine, but I think Butcher of Blaviken says my name. I think Maybe that's... Maybe Butcher of Blaviken. A strong name. I like cool. it. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like to send a few bottles to your home every so often. I'd be honored. Thanks. Cool. We thank you. Take care, Witcher. Nifty. Got a wine named after me. That's pretty cool. All right, let's stop off here, repair our stuff, and uh, let's see. There we go. And then we'll go up to this quest. So the quest that uh, has been requested quite a lot, no pun intended with requesting quest, is Equine Phantom. Oh, that's cool. Help unite the warring vineyards and have a wine named in your honor. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so yes, Equine, what was it, Equine Phantom or something like that? It's something all about horses, so I, I, I'm going to go ahead and, and do that one. And if that's the last quest we do, you know, side quest for, you know, the Witcher and everything like that, then so be it. But um, I know it's been requested quite, quite a bit uh, down there in the comment section. But let's see, do I have, there's no fast travel point here? Doesn't look like it. So the way, the place that we're going to is all the way up here. So we're going to go to Coronado Vineyard and then ride from there. So I'll meet you guys at, hopefully, the beginning of this quest. And here we go. This is what we want right here. The woman named Pinastri. You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I know not my senses yes I am a man yes meaning I'm physical no specter or vision if that's what you fear don't trust your senses why a foulness a demon or wraith haunts me grants me no rest it wants something I sense this but know not what each day it appears tarries then leaves it's here now there, beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endure these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. Mm-hmm. This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Oh. Its hoof beats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. Doesn't sure sound very just scary. A wild horse, run of the mill. The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. Okay. It is evil contest. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing. Still my breath and heart. The brew, what's it made of? Cocaine? What's the brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, jumper tub, dancing dewlap? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of grey top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, Grey Top produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, Interesting. So it might actually be there. It is there, but not know where. Huh. Well, let's talk about my pay. I need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Or I mean, sure. Or grad crowns. Florins will work too. I've none of any coin. I've nothing. Just potatoes. Oh, seven. wonderful. A good crop this year. <laughs> Tend to this quickly, completely. And several sacks will be yours. Agreed? I think that's perfectly fine. Potatoes it is. Don't have a choice, I guess. Potatoes it is. But how many? Oh, man, look at this. We gotta negotiate in potatoes. Can I get 70 out of I you? I feel we could agree. Were you to go a few lower? Mm, okay. Uh, how about sixty? Uh, how about sixty-nine? I feel we could okay. Nope. Okay. I just wanted to see. <laughs> how about 
64. Agreed. Oh, wonderful. Many I can spare. Yeah, I wouldn't want to take away from your potato-only diet with your mushrooms and shit. I'll try to help. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. That's a first for me. Just bartered in potatoes. Equine phantoms. Use your witcher senses to investigate the area and find out what's tormenting the hermit. That's rude to call her a hermit. I wouldn't call her a hermit. I'd call her a woman who's scared out of her wits who moved out here into the frickin' area to get away from a, a giant ghost horse or something. Uh, what the heck is that your... what the heck? Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Whoa. Hmm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. Hmm. This is interesting. Alright, I'm just looking for anything red. I don't really think there's a cave entrance over here. Perhaps it's... No, I was going to say perhaps it's a Doppler, but Dopplers can't really take the shape of anything, I don't think. Let alone a giant phantom horse. Oh my, what is all of this stuff down here? What do we have here? Aha, potatoes! Perhaps I'll take some more potatoes to my pay. I'll be taking all of your potatoes, thank you. <laughs> I really hope those are some, like, amazing potatoes or some shit, because that's pretty cool. <laughs> Never had to barter in potatoes, but I can dig it. Alright, let's continue to look around. Perhaps inside of the home? Let's see what we got. Uh, the Flagellants Manifesto. The Flagellants. Okay. Do, 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 Okay. Interesting. Here's the great tops. Strong hallucinogen. Not extinct. I often get to see that. Uh, maybe you should pop one there. Maybe you'll see what uh, she's been seeing. What's this? Drops of blood on the pillow. Mm -hmm. Leading to the window. So whatever it is, it's possibly coming in through the window. Oh, cool. Lesser mutagen transmuter, red to blue. Shutters closed tight. Need to check the other side, see if the trail continues. Ah, oh, good idea, Geralt. Oh, what a cute cat. Hello there, little sweet love. Uh, yeah, looks like the blood continues. Let's go see where this follows. The blood starts at the pillow, ends here. Medallion's still vibrating. Hmm... the hermit's blood at night. Uh oh no. Got to talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. So she must be hallucinating, but it's possibly like a, le a lesser vampire. Witcher. Most likely some kind of wraith's tormenting you. Can't tell what kind though. Felt weak, spent lately. Notice bite marks on your skin. As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites, of course. There are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present. Always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great op. I shall make a brew of it for you. Two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. Alright, good. Could actually work. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. Alright, ready the brew. My turn to drink it. Alright. High time we tried this. Geralt, you're a damn witcher. You take crazy shit all day. Let's see what the mushrooms do to you. Maybe it'll make you normal or something. I don't know. Sorceresses, ignore it. Good idea. That's your safe word, isn't it? For you and Yennefer. All right, down the hatch. A 
That's some fast acting stuff. Mushrooms, kids, not even once. Oh, well, Geralt has now died. In a field of red roses and pink roses, the game is over. Clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. Roach. Out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. What the fuck Roach. is happening? <laughs> Why do you sound so manly? Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Say I expected a young mare to sound girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? <laughs> as far as I know, I'm your first. <laughs> I Good can point. see why you wanted me to play this quest. Uh <laughs> Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Uh, okay. How, why do you always show up when I whistle? Hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. <laughs> Still kind of strange. <laughs> Across the ocean, like <laughs> but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? <laughs> uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Oh my fucking god! I love CD Projekt Red. Are you kidding me? Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right, monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me. And try not to trample any plants or small animals. <laughs> oh, so yeah. What is happening? Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we have to end it right there. But I do not want any more of the dialogue to play before we can come back in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> that question alone was the best one. But if I go across the ocean, how do you just show up out of nowhere but then get to, get stuck on the tiniest fence? <laughs> okay guys, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.